on that today. She used to play for the Kifbank last year, a Champions League winner alongside Paola Ogonu. But for the Netherlands, they put in a very spirited performance a couple of evenings ago here in Brussels against a strong Serbian side, but it wasn't to be for them going down in the end to Giovanni Guadetti's side. There's Giovanni Guadetti's former assistant coach, German Felix Kozlowski, and he's doing a very, very good job steering the Netherlands to the bronze medal match, the final four. Well, the Netherlands haven't won this competition for 28 years, but they were silver medalists in 2017. Well, two very different attitudes in the pre-match uh, interviews with Florence Sandu down there court side. Miriam Silla, the captain of Italy, face uh, looked disappointed from the loss last evening as we still discuss whether Paola Ogonu will start this evening. Ekaterina Antropova has uh, started almost every game but one in that opposite position in her first competition for Italy. Agonu came off the bench and played a starring role two nights ago. As we have a look around uh, the Italian dressing room. Alina Pietrini, somebody who really stepped up once again in the semi-final, scored 74 points so far in Euro Volley. Well, the Netherlands, well, talking to uh, Nika Dauderop, she seemed certainly in the right spirits for a battle this evening. And you feel that the Netherlands will certainly try and bring it from the service line and try and disrupt the Italians in every way possible. They have a young side, but they're a team very much growing in the right direction. Sarah Van Allen, the setter was impressive throughout. And there's the captain, Laura Dijkma, who's one of the remainers from the 2017 final. A team that included... Uh, Lonica Sloches. And now Nika Dauderop is the point scorer. Well, here's the toss that took place just a few moments ago. Well, it really is uh, wonderful to be here with you. The Euro Volley bronze medal match here from uh, Brussels. These evenings always seem to be special with uh, lots of adrenaline and the anticipation certainly building. Louis Let with you in the commentary booth as we have a look. It's the same final four as two years ago in Belgrade, but a slightly different way around. Turkey will play Serbia a little bit later on uh, today. And there's so many stories behind the scenes there. Two time world champion Serbia. Turkey have just won the VNL and they are certainly going on an upward trajectory at the moment. And they've just swapped coaches as well. Giovanni Guidetti coaching Serbia and Daniele Santorelli with Turkey. Now, before that, there's the matter of a bronze medal match. There's Ekaterina Antropova, who's been in fine form throughout this competition was started in that semi-final. That was the big selection issue for Davide Mazzanti. Whether he goes with Katerina, Ekaterina Antropova or with Paola Ogonu, he had to go to Ogonu after the first set. 
having lost that. And uh, well, Agonu came off the bench and made six serves in a row. For Antropova, she's only just uh, become an Italian resident and been able to represent Italy. And she started all but one game so far. And it's been a lot of talking around uh, that selection as we have a look at Celeste Plack, who's uh, now at uh, Roma, starting a new phase of her career. But she's been involved in this Dutch side for some time. And talking of experience, Anna Danesi, somebody in the middle who's uh, been part of a World Championship silver medal winning side, a Euro volley winning side two years ago. And her and Marina Lubian have certainly been at the races through the middle throughout this competition. Miriam Silla, who's uh, sporting incredible body language at the moment as she tries uh, to fire up her team. Another outstanding talent on the outside who will be opposite Dowda Rob. There'll be a lot of ways this game can really go. Will the Netherlands come out firing? I think yes. Antropova, if she does start on the right side, will certainly be a difficult blocker for Dowda Rob to get through. And then it comes down to passing and how each team can use their middles. Indy Byans has been uh, seriously impressive throughout this competition. 193 blocker. And by the looks of it, it sort of gives me the sense that Paolo Agoni won't be starting this evening. As there's so many question marks and so many things for Davide Mazzanti to consider when picking a side for big games like this one. Will he stay with Antropova or will he go with Agonu? And I'm sure everybody has an opinion on that one. Even uh, Daniele Santarelli had an opinion after that semi final matchup. The Turkey A coach, having beaten Italy, saying he would have started Agonu because she can win matches on her own. But Obviously, there's a lot more to it when you're the head coach of a big nation like Italy. And Agonu, a three-time Champions League winner with three different clubs. Juliet Lohus has had a great competition, was impressive against Serbia two evenings ago. Lowe, who's uh, now playing in Italy, Castle Maggiore, the first season for her, where uh, Paolo Agoni will be heading back to Italy from the Kif Bank, having won the Champions League in Turkey. It's all go and all change as we build up for one of the best days in the volleyballing calendar, the European Championship final matches the bronze medal match the Netherlands defeated last year by Turkey yet can they go one better at this Euro volley against a very impressive athletic and formidable Italian side that could easily be in the final Brussels proving to be the perfect hosts for both of those semi-final matches. It just had a feeling about it. All teams seem to have equal support. Well, maybe Turkey had uh, the best support overall. But it just felt very special. And we're expecting another special evening this evening as uh, the camera goes to Pietrini again, who should start on the outside with Miriam Silla this evening. Indy Bynes again, who plays for Schwerin, who's actually, or Schwerin, the team that is led by the Netherlands head coach, Felix Kozlowski. Eight of the Netherlands side based in Germany. Three in Italy. As we're expecting a full house we're talking of uh, Felix Kozlowski, former German coach, the former assistant of Giovanni Guidetti, winning silver at Eurovolley 2013, but certainly did a phenomenal job with Germany as their head coach 
for a number of years before now joining forces with the Netherlands. And you just feel that something's cooking in the Netherlands with the talent that they have and all of the dignitaries here from uh, Novobo very happy with their month in the office. Italy, on the other hand, will be disappointed they don't go back to back with Euro volley victories, but can Davide Mazzanti fire up his team one last time to walk away with a medal? Anna Danese, best middle blocker in the World Championships last year. Kirsten Knip, another one who's got the experience in the libero position. Played in the European Championships in 2017, World Championship Final Four in 2018 as well. On a day where Turkey are wanting to take home the European Championship gold medal for the first time ever. It's going to be exhilarating stuff here. But first, we have a very crucial, important bronze medal match. Well, it's the 21st match between the Netherlands and Italy at the European Championships. It's the most played fixture in this competition. But it is the first time that they've met in a European Championship bronze medal matchup. Agonu, will she start this evening, having played the club season last year with the Kifbank Vistanbul? with Nika Dalderob. There's uh, Marit Jesper, who's had her injury issues. As we have a look at Ekaterina Antropova, the starting opposite for Italy throughout this competition in front of Agoni. 51% of attack, 79 points. Celeste Plak operating more points, but less efficiency by 1%. Not much in it, but have a look at the blocking stats. 15 from Antropova. And she's certainly one of our players to watch at two meters, two centimeters tall. It's her first competition for Italy after signing a formal oath at the Scandici Municipality a couple of months ago. She's won the CEV Cup MVP, best server as well. And then there's Anna Danesi, who knows all about winning Euro Volley, the best middle blocker two years ago. And she'll be starting in the middle this evening. Well, there is Indy Bynes, still just 22 years old. A very bright future in front of her. 193, very physical at the net. 13 points against Estonia. And she's joined Schwerin from Shemek Police. Juliet Lohus also playing in the middle. So will be uh, instrumental alongside Indy Bynes this evening if they can get the pass in. But also they'll have to do the job of blocking the likes of Antropova and Agonu, and that is no mean feat. Well, the Netherlands in 2017 last beat Italy at the European Championships at the quarterfinal stage. That was the first years of Davide Mazzanti's reign. Can they beat them? here in Brussels to take a first bronze medal since 1984. About to find out. Well, there's the squad list. You expect to see Marina Lubin start in the middle. She's also got a bullet of a serve. Oro should start in the setting position. And will it be Antropova or Agonu starting on the opposite? We will wait and see, but they have a lot of depth on the bench, regardless of who starts in that opposite position. And the Netherlands, who have got such a strong side, 11 of the VNL squad are here 
competing that lost to Canada on the last uh, day for them in the competition. But uh, from 2021, Plack Lowe, who's uh, Bongarad's Dalder Op Timmerman and Murtha Schoot still remain from that squad two years ago. Sarah Van Arlen has just joined the Kif Bank in Turkey, the Champions League winners, and she's highly thought of within European and world volleyball. Well, here come Italy into the arena, led by Miriam Silla, with nobody quite following her out as of yet. The number 17. And Marina Lubian following her out very, very quickly. There she is. They're looking for their ninth medal at the European Championships. Only uh, Russia and the Soviet Union have won more. Poland as well with 11. Lubian. And Silla should uh, start this evening. Alice uh, Degladi, part of uh, the Valley Fogger Lear team uh, with Laura Dykma next season. So they will be teammates. Francesca Bozio, the reserve setter, before we meet the libero. Eleonora Fasino, who's taken the place of uh, Monica Di Janeiro from two years ago. There's the setter, Alessio Oro. Part of the VNL side, two time CEV Cup winner. And as we've spoken about before, the brilliant Anna Danese, two time world championship medals in her career, and somebody who just keeps growing. Alina Pietrini, part of the side two years ago that won the gold. Silvia Nowakal, or someone who can play in that opposite position, but will find it difficult with Antropova and Agonu. And listen to that roar for Paola. Agonu, three-time Champions League winner and three-time MVP. Well, number 20, Beatrice uh, Parakiali. Didn't play in the VNL, Parakiali, but a European champion. And also a 2019 CEV Cup winner as well. I love if uh, Omarori, Champions League winner with Amoko coming out in the libero jersey. But has also played outside hitter. And then Ekaterina Antropova makes up the squad. And if she starts on the opposite this evening, we can expect a very physical outlet for Italy, whether it's Agonu or Antropova. And the camera keeps going to one of the superstars of the sport in Paola Agonu. It must have been a strange journey for her. She's used to playing almost every point of these big competitions, but it hasn't quite worked that way this time. She's been very supportive on the bench, and she's certainly come on to make a difference, but Antropova has been given the chance that she needed to grow into this Italian team. She told me a couple of days ago that she's thoroughly enjoying the journey. Well, led by Laura Dijkma, the setter in 2017, when the Netherlands uh, took that silver medal. And Marit Jesper, also who's been struggling with injury problems. It's great to have her back, a very consistent operator on the outside. Good passer and doesn't make many errors. Kirsten Knip came off the bench against Bulgaria. Has had quite a quiet tournament, hasn't played as much as we've seen previously, but did play very well against Bulgaria and also Slovakia. Celeste Plak, well played in Japan last season, now back in Italy for the first time since 2019, having played for Bergamo. Jolene Nolema, also playing her volleyball in Italy with uh, Ferenzi. And uh, like so many of these players built in the Netherlands, they have a great development program. 
Juliet Lohus, who we uh, spoke about earlier on, joining Castle Maggiore for her first season in Italy. And there's the first choice setter at the moment for uh, Felix Kozlowski. Sarah Van Allen, who's just left Potsdam to play for the Kif Bank. Pip Bongards is uh, somebody else who can set a very, very high level, the Stuttgart player. Who's playing her sixth season in Germany this year? Indy Bynes, we've spoken about her talents previously. And Nika Dauderop, who's now at uh, Milano this year, joining from the Kiff Bank, and will be a certain threat on the left side there. Just keeps growing in world volleyball, Dauderop, and uh, putting in impressive performances. Aline Timmerman off the bench three times in the semi-final to uh, come on to serve. She's been used as a service substitution, but did start against Finland in the competition. Plays uh, also for Stuttgart. And Florian Racing now playing in Switzerland uh, for Geneva. Has been impressive in the libero position. Almost uh, started every match at minus one. Alice Dambrink. Another one that plays uh, for Schurin underneath the guidance of uh, the national team coach, Kozlowski. It's uh, Kozlowski's first Final Four internationally at this level. He's done a superb job. A little Selinger leading the way two years ago, but Kozlowski's uh, picked up the reins and leading this team incredibly well. It's the Euro Volley. Bronze final here from Brussels. It's a privilege uh, to bring you this. Louis Lett with you in the commentary booth as we stand for the national anthems. It won't be back-to-back -back golds, but they're looking for medal number nine at Euro Volley 2023. But it'll be a tough task against a strong Netherlands side. Well, it could and quite possibly should feel like a home game for the Netherlands. The Dutch border just a 30-minute drive away from the Palais du here in Brussels. And they are certainly ready for this challenge. The Italians have certainly had uh, the better of them recently. 
in competitive international volleyball. But you do feel that the Netherlands are certainly capable of an upset if they can attack the Italians from the service line and put them under somewhat pressure throughout this game. We're about to meet uh, the first sixes. I don't expect many changes from uh, the teams uh, two nights ago. The big question mark will always be Andropova and Agonu here, especially in a game that maybe the Italians feel that they need to win. Pedro Lopez, Pinto and Vladimir Simonovic, the two referees for this big, big counter encounter. One that you feel could go the whole way if the Netherlands have the grit and the determination that we saw in the semi-finals. The Italian fans are in the house. It's the Euro Volley bronze final as we have Alessia Oro and it's Antropova that gets to start. The big news once again is that there's no Paolo Agonu. Danesi will start in the middle with Lubian, Pietrini, Silla on the outside, Ficino, the libero. Still no Paolo Agonu. That means she's only started one of the matches here in the European Championships and it looks to be the same seven for the Netherlands. Sarah Van Allen keeping that setting spot. Jasper on the outside with a Dowderop as well. Lohus in the middle as we have a look a little bit closer here. Danesi and Lubian have been superb through the middle throughout the competition. Andropova, the top scorer for Italy in this competition and it will certainly give her more experience in this Italian side seeing that it's her first competition. But it is big news that you keep Agonu on the bench. Davide Mazzanti certainly must have a lot of trust in Antropova. <laughs> who's just 20 years old. Here are the starters uh, then, Marian Lubian. Alessia Oro, European champion, a VNL champion herself. Uh, Italy winning the VNL in 2022. Antropova starting in that opposite position, at two meters, two centimeters tall. It's going to be difficult for the outsides to get around the block. So we saw earlier on 15 blocks in this competition for Antropova already. Italy are out there. There's Noah Gonu. Antropova gets the nod, and that's big news in the world of volleyball yet again. Well, no surprises uh, for Felix Kozlowski here. As uh, Celeste Plack gets uh, the start. She just seems to be raising her game once more. Juliette Lou has uh, starting in the middle. As Indy Bayern's Marit Jasper makes her way into this uh, Palais du Arena. And Nika Dauderop. The libero for in Rezink. It's had some good reception stats throughout this competition, but Italy certainly have one of, if not the strongest serving sides in this competition. The likes of Antropova certainly hit rockets from the baseline. Davide Mazzanti, he's been in charge since 2017 for the Italians, led them through to the finals of the World Championships, the VNL gold medal, the Euro Volley gold, and there's Felix Kozlowski. A first final four for him, a first real big challenge with the Netherlands after a 12th place finish in the Volleyball Nations League. High fives all round uh, to the dignitaries and the coaching side. It looks like we are ready to rumble here in Brussels for what truly is and will be a Super Sunday. The medalists will be confirmed for CEV Euro Volley 2023. Well, it's Miriam Silla to get us underway with a serve uh, to position one. Racing. Well, the point there can go Racing's way because the libero had to take a couple of steps to the right hand side. It's a perfect play for Silla, who's a light or enjoyed serving position one throughout this competition. 
And that's maybe to protect Oro a little bit. Not the biggest blocker in the team. The set has to travel a much longer distance. It's much difficult for the setter to get the ball to the wide zones. Well, Italy have started with good passing as well, but Jasper on the backcourt, the block of Pietrini. And the physicality of Italy will certainly be tough. Well, Ficino's on the floor already. Marina Lubian gets her first point of this bronze medal matchup. The oohs and ahs from the crowd. A one-on-one -on -one situation on the right side. Well, Italy have won the last four matches against the Netherlands in major competitions. But once again, Netherlands have started with a bit between their teeth, really. Racing the target again. It's a little bit off the net, but this is why Sarah Van Allen is special. The ball's off the net. She still has the ability to find the middle. And the more that you can feed the middle early on, the more that the opposition middles have to hold, and you can go to the outside and get your outside spikers into more one-on-one -on -one situations, which is just one of the many things that this game is all about. But Pietrini, 74 points in this competition for the Italian outside so far. Great passer of the ball, but also somebody who just gets more and more of the sets. She has the ability to hit the ball well both ways, so it doesn't matter how many blockers she has in her way. Rising the target once more. Paintbrush. Doesn't matter how you score them. And Sarah Van Allen is feeding the middle a lot here early on. And that's one way to keep the ball away from Antropova on the front court as well, because... Uh, well, Dowderop, if she has two blockers on her at the moment, will be Denacy. And Denacy right on cue. This time it's Italy feeding the middle with tremendous speed from Oro. Pick that one out. Well, this game has started at a rate of knots. Again, the Netherlands have started passing impeccably at the moment with uh, Jasper this time getting caught over the right side. Dalderop kicking out of the pass, giving it to uh, Jasper and then in turn, she's freed up for the spike. It's uh, nice work from Kozlowski and the Netherlands that because in those late stages against Serbia, Dowderop was targeted a lot with the serve, and what they're doing is, yes, they're taking a little bit of risk by passing more with two passes instead of three, but they're releasing Dowderop to focus on scoring points, which is something she's incredibly good at. Van Arlen, reverse, this time high off the hands. And the special thing about uh, Indy Bynes being 193 centimeters is that if the ball's in a good place and she stays high, it's going to be very difficult for the blockers to get near her. Well, 92 kilometers an hour. Certainly a good rip from back there. There's Kozlowski who will be incredibly aware of uh, what a big result this would be for the Dutch Federation and for his side in what they're building at the moment. They were led by the very impressive uh, Jamie Morrison in 2017 at the World uh, Championships in 2018 as well. As there's a first block, they're going for speed and width here. Van Arlen tries to fizz one out. Diaspor, it's a little bit inside for and it's right into the cross-court block of Oro. Here comes uh, Ekaterina Antropova. They're very spoilt in the opposite position. 
Two opposites who are special, both who can serve. Agoni celebrates from the sideline. Big serve off of Dowderup. And with Dowderup on the backcourt now, they really can't take her out of the pass because they need uh, Jasper as a front court spy because she's not around for this one because she is focusing on the pass. So almost the hand of Van Allen is uh, taken away from her. She has to go to the pipe and now she can go to the outside with a tip to the line. It's perfect. They build through that rally, the Netherlands. Laura Dijkmer on the side. The captain of the Dutch side. It was a good tip from Plack, was in a disadvantaged situation there and she still managed to make Italy play. Passes uh, a little bit too straight, but it's tight enough to give Oro options and you have to take your hat off there to the setter, setting maybe eight and or so meters across the face of the court to find the right shoulder of Lubian and it's right in the perfect spot. Lubian, another one who can stay high. The issue is, is when the set's not quite there, the hitters start to lose their height and the block will get more into the game. Manalan loves that flaring set off the front foot. And they're certainly here to play. Van Arlen, it's a difficult set that the ball's always traveling away from her. She just guides it to the stick. Let's go back to serve. Feels like a full house here. Pietrini. Van Allen is there. Goes to Pietrini once again. Good work from the middle blocker. Low house gets across. She has to go from right to left this time. But it's a free ball now for the Netherlands. They've had to work hard through this. Two on the floor from Italy. Again, whipped and height. This time at Tanika Dowderop. Their persistence is impressive and potentially annoying for the Italians at the moment. Digging a lot of balls and not making many errors. Casino, brilliant pass. They seem to be spoiled. Chicken wing, high ball back to Dowderup. And this time they're out of system again. Pietrini has to find something from nothing. And all she finds are the hands of Celeste Plack. The Netherlands lead by one here. And they're playing very, very robust volleyball. Some worried faces, uh, maybe, to the right of me on the Italian bench. Hasn't been the perfect uh, competition for them. Kozlowski will also be here trying to take some advantage of that. It must be such a different feeling for Agonu because she's usually the player who's under the most pressure to score the most points. She usually does score the most points in every aspect of the game, but now she's having to be more of a supporting act off the bench. Sure that fans all over the world will have uh, opinions on the omission of Agonu. Antropova's on the back court at the moment, so uh, two front court hitters, but someone who is allowed to get up and swat away is Alessia Oro. And when the pass is in that perfect uh, aggressive spot, okay, it's a little bit straight, but good enough for Oro to get up and go with the left hand. That's also going to make the middle blocker keep looking through the net. Well, middle for middle. The Netherlands and their use of the middle early on here is quite spectacular. Van Arlen's tried to use it when the ball hasn't quite been there and seems to have worked every time. The noise could be a bit too much in here for some. 
free point. And this is where we're going to learn a lot about Italy. The disappointment of not retaining their title. Have they managed to pick themselves up in time to bounce back here this evening? Pietrini, almost like a hard-handed reception. Antropova, I think, has just gone over the top of the Netherlands as if they're not even there. The front court receiver. Bayerns holds with the middle. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Doesn't go over the top, but high enough to hammer through the split. Seen a brilliant position on the outside of the block, taking the positions that the blockers aren't. Silla looking for a touch here and a little bit out of rhythm. This is very interesting. This is the first six that Mazanti's gone for throughout. There is no touch. And they're not quite delivering at this moment in time. Danesi is delivering. Or it's two hitting errors in a row. And it's the first timeout taken in this bronze medal match from Italian coach Davide Mazzanti. Two hitting errors in a row. Well, some stats for you. It's just interesting looking around here and trying to get to feeling from the Italians. Trying to find some intensity, some energy here to tackle this brave, brave Netherlands side. Antropova. Two from two now for Katarina Antropova. Set a nice wide long set, putting the blockers under pressure. Again, it's a long distance set, but they'll know that they have a bit of a mismatch here. Jasper against Ekaterina Antropova. It's Antropova with the touch. And Oro previously better from Italy. And wait uh, and see, because uh, they certainly have some service weapons. It's a great shot, isn't it? The bird's eye view. Indy Bynes, Ficino, puts it in perfectly again. Pietrini is a little bit out of rhythm. Her foot crosses the three meter line. And it's another error from Italy. You think about the two spiking errors in a row. You think about the foot fault. All of a sudden they're adding up and it's the Netherlands with a four point lead. Who I personally can't remember making an error throughout the early phases. Bynes with another big serve, Ficino. Again, a little bit straight with the pass. They're trying to protect, I feel, Jasper on that right side against Antropova. They're making the ball go to the left-hand side of the court off the Italian pass to make it difficult to find Antropova. And then even with a one-on-one, -on -one, doesn't really matter. She's too hot to handle for Jasper. As Agonu comes onto the front court, Oro's uh, brought off. So you'd imagine that Ficino will be doing the setting. Cheers for Agonu, for one of the superstars of this game. Pipe attack, great scoop from Andropova, chases on Pietrini, they're battling now, the Italians, but it's a free ball once more for the Netherlands. Taken, slide attack, opening up the gap between the middle blocker and the wing blocker. Van Allen's running this game and she's running it terrifically. Free ball, Libyan was holding in the middle. And as we said earlier on, using the pipe, using the middle so often 
makes the middle blocker hold that much longer. And Dropova's off uh, for the time being as well. Replaced uh, by Bozio, the second setter. Playing now for Navarra for a second time. And now it's a pass uh, struggling from the Netherlands, but they do a good job to wrestle it in. Agoni for the first time doesn't convert the first ball that she sets in this game. Through the pipe, Silla, what a dig that one is. Speed to Pietrini. We've got the rally of the match so far. Back to Pietrini for a second time. So sharp from Pietrini. It doesn't get much better than this. Control play from Celeste Plack. And then just sliced with speed off the head, I think. Pietrini's having a great time now, as is Mazzanti. Free ball situation. Miriam Sillers all over it. Agonu. Oh, my word. The Netherlands again playing outrageous defence, but it's the block of Italy. Dowderop just sitting comfortably and balanced, but the set is just a little bit inside again. And that means the ball's only going hard into the cross. It's very, very difficult to hit round uh, the block of Agonu and Co. when the set is tight. Italy are back to one. They lead 17-16. Asking for more tips in those tough situations. The tip has been successful so far for the Netherlands, as we have a look at uh, some stats so far, 100% from Indy Barhens, four from four is outstanding. Nacy, well, two from three, also pretty good. So uh, the middles are certainly doing their job in this bronze medal match. Facido to the right side, it's a late step laterally, takes the ball early. Van Arlen tries uh, to get it to Lohus, but no. Plaque to the line, but Ficino is everywhere. She's had an outstanding start to this game. High ball situation, but a net touch against the Italian blockers. We are certainly being treated to an entertaining game. The fans love it. Good timeout from Kozlovski. Needed to try and change the momentum once more, and it seems like it's done the trick. Jasper, again, making the Italians pass straight, taking Agonu out of the offense. Very good serving. It's not all about the power, but it's about the position of the serve as well. The pass goes so far forward, so quick, that it takes Agonu out of the game very, very quickly. And now it's uh, Mazzanti that calls a timeout. Well, Agoni's come off the bench, but the Netherlands are doing a good job of serving away from Paolo Agoni. That's the second time out for Italy in this opening set of the bronze medal match. It's not been the perfect start for them. I think there's lots of people here who thought that the Netherlands would come out firing. And they've certainly done that. Minimal errors, good serving. And they've run the middle offensively very, very well. Back underway. Italy needing a side out. Agonu. Shot down. 
That's a big, big play in this opening set. Nika Dowderop has been sensational so far. And we talked about her and how she would get on hitting past the likes of Agonu. But this time, it's Dowderop who makes a block on a former teammate from the Kiv Bank. Look at Kozlovsky, living and breathing every point. Agonu back off uh, for Oro, and it's also incredibly interesting that Oro's still on the front court. So um, Mazanti's decided to take a front court Agonu off for a back court Antropova. Petrini, one on one. And this is the Netherlands. They are fighting for every ball. Kozlowski is almost on the court with them. But Pietrini, second time of asking. The gap's open between the block and she hammers home. The Netherlands have got their shields up and they're scrapping. Lubian just seems to be serving. We have a very good view of it here on the court side, but slightly softer than what we might have seen against uh, Turkey at two nights ago. It's an absolute rocket of a serve that's already heading downwards and then dips a bit more. Pietrini passes in a great spot. Antropova on the 10. 202 centimeters staying super high not worrying about hitting angles not worrying about anything else but taking it high and slapping it off the hands Alessia Oro they've Run this middle ball perfectly. And Giovanni Guidetti might just be watching this as the Kif Bank head coach and uh, might just be delighted with the setter that he signed this week because Sarah Van Arlen is pulling the strings here. Two up in the block. Looking for a touch Dowder up, but to no avail. Well, we head uh, to Hawkeye, the best eye in the sky for this decision. Dowder up and the Netherlands think they have a case here. A block touch. And it's a huge point, this, because Italy really need to start clawing this score back at 22-19, three-point game. And this has almost been a flawless performance so far. No touch on the block. It didn't look like it on the way through. Oh, was there? No, absolutely not. Unsuccessful challenge. The ball going past uh, pretty quickly live. And... Usually you can sense and hear a touch from how close this commentary position is. Good break in play though. Even if there wasn't a touch, it almost works as another way to disrupt the server's rhythm. Beatrice Parachiali coming in uh, for the Italians. Uh, didn't play in the VNL, but was part of the squad two years ago. Played at Milano since uh, 2018. And Libero just coming in as an extra outside just to bring some stability to the pass here as uh, Antropova tries to uncork. Celeste Plack, get out of here. Oh, what a rally. Parachiali's just come on and made an outstanding bit of defense. Free ball for the Netherlands. Second ball attack from Van Allen. But it's Silla to put the ball away. Nobody's going to be there from the Netherlands. Another outstanding rally but it's a point that Italy could not afford to lose.
And Arnon trying to get sneaky with the second touch attack, but really well done from Danacy to stay alive and just slow the game down with her block touch. Going back to the middle on the right-hand side. Uh, Van Arden, joust. Silla. And it's a fantastic tempo of a bump set. Silla can stay in rhythm and charge. And really, the Italians now have the break thereafter. Much more difficult for a spiker to find a timing off of an underarm set than a hand set, and Silla's just gone and crunched it. Fantastic pictures of uh, the Dutch side. You can be so proud of this performance. Think about the sides that aren't here. The likes of Germany, Poland, have an outstanding side. They've proven again this week that they belong in Europe's elite. Second time in a row in the final four. Blessed with uh, a lot of talent. Racing, a good pass from the libero in the Bayerns. Well, Davide Mazzanti's wagging his finger to say no way. Still is saying there was no touch it. I think there's it's absolutely the case in Italy about to want. Errors have crept in at key times uh, here from the Netherlands. We're going to have a challenge anyway. And this could be uh, Felix Kozlowski just slowing the game down slightly. It worked last time, didn't it? One side out's going to bring up a set point. There's no touch on that block. Not with my eyes, anyway. Well, in comes some experience in Laura Dijkma. A double substitution here. Coming on with uh, opposite at least Dan Brink. 11 points uh, from a starting position against Finland. And Dijkma's just here to try and uh, stable this offense, stabilize them to bring up set point. Dijkma, superb, teams up with the middle. And that is clutch from Dijkma to come straight off the bench, throw it to the middle, bring up set point is exactly what the captain is here to do. She came on for one point in the semi-finals and did exactly the same and then was subbed off straight away afterwards. But that's not going to be the case now. Bayerns is off and Kozlowski's loving it. Timmerman. Service substitution three times in the semi-final. Parakiali puts the ball in perfectly as we expect from her. The high play from Antropova. And again at 2.02, can just go over the top. It's again, serve an angle to try and strain up the pass, keep it away from Antropova and put the setter under pressure. But the level is so high here, the ball sits up enough for Oro to get the ball to the opposite. Set point, one side out to take the opener. And it's a service error out the back from Ekaterina Antropova. And that means that the first set has gone the way of the Netherlands here in the bronze medal match of Euro Volley 2023. They certainly deserved it in the end. 25-23 against the Italians who have got a little bit of work to do here in Brussels. Well, there are the stats, 17 to 15 winner attacks. Using the middle was exemplary from the Netherlands. Two blocks apiece, one ace from the Italians and one more error. Not much between the two sides, but a very impressive performance. All the same from the Netherlands in set number one. Well, here's the spike contact point. Where's the ball been going? Well, the Italians have hardly used the middle 
And that's uh, a crazy enough stat. I think those wider ones symbolized used uh, Danesi at certain periods, but they've served so well. They've limited the middle use from the Italians. And look at that, really well spread out. 18% to the middle, 60% to the outside. But we know that's going to happen when you've got Dowderop out there as well. Dowderop has uh, so far been flawless. The Netherlands have been flawless. The Italians, yes, the favourites. Agonu starting on the bench yet again. Set twos coming our way. And it's one that you feel the Italians will be desperate to win. Well, well, well. Italy have it to all to do. They'll certainly be feeling the pressure alongside the disappointment of not making the gold medal match. How dig, or how deep, sorry, can they dig throughout the next set? because they know farewell that there's just going to be another onslaught from the Netherlands who will just keep knocking on the door. It's down to Italy to raise their level. Impressive performance from Laura Dijkma coming off the bench for the last two points, but she will start once again on the side. Marit Jasper, four points, 57%. Pietrini, that's uh, very interesting. We're just waiting for the scores uh, to come in and the stats, but not converting as much as we've become used to, Pietrini, but she does get the start in the second set as it's unchanged. Antropova starting on the right side. No Agonu. Well, the scores uh, from that opening set was 10 points, uh, sorry, 13 attacks, three points for Pietrini. That's a deal, but this is the Netherlands. One team are fighting for every single scrap here. And Lubian. Two points in attack in the opening set, three overall. Florian Erezink is uh, leading in her actions defensively this evening. Dowderop, big service pressure, but the pass is just as good from Dowderop. They've gone after her there, Italy, and Dowderop's just stayed stable, stayed firm with the platform. And yes, it's a little bit off the net, but that was an absolute ripper of a serve. Jasper works off the hands. The Netherlands are not going anywhere. Pietrini, the target. Better from Pietrini. They'll need more than 23% efficiency here in set number two, but Lubian, the most effective in an attacking sense in the opener. Jasper passing a little bit too tight and right, but Italy still have to try and find the floor. What an out of system rip that one is. Pietrini. Silla steps in, sets the ball with height. And Pietrini just goes and gets her feet to the ball. It's a little inside, but the feet are fast from Pietrini. Mazzanti would have would be desperate for a good start. 
in here in set two. Free ball situation. Plaque on the right side. The set's a little tight there, so Italy fighting away. Anna Danese, that scramble back for Dowderup. There's calls for a double touch. That's not being given, but Pietrini fires the ball, wrist away from the body to the sideline. And the Italian commentators next to me going wild for this moment for Italy. As they know it's incredibly important that they get off to a good start. Dowderup. Oh, Silla. Jumps on in and there's a flaring set to the outside from Silla, but it wasn't quite on the spot and Dowderup takes full advantage. Italy's offense not quite functioning there. And here Dowderup Danese has to hold with the middle in a free ball situation. You put Dowder up one on one, and she will be incredibly effective. But the Netherlands. Won't stop pushing. Silla this time. Just pushed back in the pass, lost the stability. And again, Italy are out of system. Three up in the block, chases on once more. Jasper's gonna have to try and get this one to the pin. It's a fantastic set from way downtown from Mary Jasper. And then the blockers come to town from the Netherlands. Their fight, their desire. Their ability to chase down balls, all paying off. And Trapova, a little bit off the net, inside, gets roofed into the angle. And you wonder at what point uh, does Mazanti bring on Agonu? And is Agonu ready to come on and make a difference like we saw in the semi-final? Pietrini does all the work herself there. Fast ball to the outside. She does a great job of finding the pass tempo and then making an approach herself to hit in between the blockers. It wasn't the hit that was impressive. It was uh, the pass and then the sequence of movements after that. Antropova. Funny enough, was blocked last time. So this time just decides to go with the tip, but at two meters, two centimeters, even the tip is uh, a speedy way of playing offense back there. That's been his full stretch, but that ball's dropping quickly. Pietrini. Dowder up again, passing the ball into a good zone. Dowder up again. Her pass is really working here, Nika Dowderop. Serve long angle to the inside to try and stop her playing effective offense, but they're gonna have to serve a little bit more inside, a little bit tougher to stop Dowderop here. Wow. With the start that Italy made, you thought that they might just pull away here, but that's... Uh, not going to be the case. Eventually, Modenese puts the ball away. They have used the middle again, this time on a quick attack and going over the left shoulder. This time for Danese, trying to turn the ball away from the blocker. Middles want to try and keep the ball out of position six, the back middle position. There's an error from Celeste Plaque, but Difficult rotation this for the Netherlands. You'll see that Indy Bayern's uh, on the left-hand side of the court at position four, has to run all the way to the right-hand side. And then she does a much better job. She can't quite jump set and go full send, but she can just send it to Dowderop. 
And it's a good rotation to be off of for any team, but especially for the Netherlands at the moment. Dowderop has been on fire. Oh, set from Oro. Talk about trying to use the middle in difficult situations. Oro's just taken that to the absolute max and tried to force the ball in from almost uh, position one over her shoulder. And unfortunately, the connection isn't there with Lubian. And it's another error from Italy. Lubian now having to do some passing. Middle doesn't commit. Celeste Plack is on the floor this time. Great height and with Oh! My word, it looked like Italy had a roof block, but it's blocked out. Asper just tries to hammer up and hard. It's only going one way. Andropova knows, Lubian knows, and I think Jasper knows as well. Have a look at the face of Marit Jasper there. Swinging high and hard off the outside hand. Well, Davide Mazzanti, not overly pleased about something. Well, the challenge for ball in or out. Talking to here from the second referee. Nika Dalderop serves short again on Terlubian as it goes very quiet in here. This time the Italians side out. It's good serving from Dalderop, just uh, putting Nubian under pressure, but also uh, trying to maybe take her out of the offense and at the same time Andropova puts the ball away her last rotation on the front court now she's serving <laughs> two missed serves in a row from Andropova having uh, missed the one on set point against her in the previous set well the gone is just Stepping forward, just saying something to the Italian coaching staff. Oh, that one's uh, still motoring. Two missed serves in a row. Uh, it's time for Indy Bayerns. Another hand pass this time for Dada Rupp. Funny, there's a lot of pace taken off of that one, but uh, seemed to have a few problems with it. But ball's gone in. Still a missed side out from the Netherlands. Italy are starting to uh, push here. Oro flips it back from left to right. And again, off the hands of Jasper, which is going to be difficult for her. Certainly is a mismatch on that right side for Lubin. Much uh, more physical or higher. Tip over the top, there's a net touch somewhere, and it's against uh, the Italians. Fascinating tussle here, midway through set number two. Another chance to level it up here. And to play playing defense racing. Probably has at least 15 players shouting out to her as she tries to play that ball. Kozlowski sees the funny side. Racing sees the funny side. But I think everyone in the Netherlands shouting out towards Racing. Silla playing defense. 
And just when you think Italy are getting away, Netherlands strike back, Oro. Good width, hitting error. Well, they want to touch it, Pietrini. Is there a challenge here or is there a timeout coming? Looks like a timeout's coming from Mazzanti. I make that four in a row for the Netherlands. Service, some defenses, and then some errors. Oh, there's no touch on that one. That's missed by many a mile. Well, 78% by the looks of it for Antropova. I'm sure uh, Celeste Placard can remember her scoring a couple more than uh, zero. The Netherlands are really bringing their best here. We heard in the timeout earlier on in the week, Kozlowski saying, come on, we've got another couple of levels in us, but he's absolutely flying with his team here. And Jasper looking for the hands with speed. Suro coming off. Uh, so it'll be Bozio and Agonu coming in. With, uh, some of the Italian fans. She shot straight down. My word, this is at least a seven point run here from the Netherlands. Floating the ball in, Sarah Van Arlen's causing all sorts of trouble. Two on the outside, good hands in the block again from Marit Jasper. Italy are falling apart here. Fasino puts the ball in this time. Tip from Agoni was blocked in the last set. Soft block this time, another block. This is absolutely outstanding. Mazzanti looks at the floor, the Italian bench as well. Who does he turn to now? Parachiali. Well, there's another shot of the block as uh, Gladi stopped twice in a row. Hey, Trying to bring some energy. Davide Mazzanti. Just got blocked twice in a row, De Gradi. Hitting right in the hands. May well have been a message to tip or stay high in those situations. The service pressure is certainly there in a strange way from Sarah Van Arlen because she's just popping the ball into a good area. Nika Dowderop being sensational tonight. Pass is also there at the moment. Can the Netherlands go 2-0 up here? Because Italy, well, they've dug themselves a hole and they're the only ones that can get themselves out of it. Pass from Silla. Back to Pietrini. He's back on by looks at three blocks in a row. Agonu's being shut down. She's off the net, not quite at full height. She backs off well, but it's a scrambling set from Silla. Trying to remain physical, Agonu. But Celeste Plack roaring away. Kozlowski. What a run this is. At least eight points in a row. It could be nine. Antropova. Back on in for Agonu. And finally, Italy get out of this rotation at backcourt. Antropova, just as effective as anybody frontcourt with the height that she plays at.
big serving. But this is the Netherlands who are just responding every single time. And the service pressure is so high from Italy, from Lubian this time. She really uncorks on that one. But they stay stable, they get the ball in, and they, they're winning all these small battles at the moment. And those small battles really add up. Jasper, again, a serve, float serve high on Pietrini. Three up, Dowderop's got a cross. Is there a touch? Yes, there is a touch, according to the first referee. Three up in the block, so Pietrini, who loves hitting that wrist away swing, that's been blocked off by Dowderop. So she decides to stay high instead. She gets rewarded for that decision. Dowderop the target overhand once more. Dowderop is really coming to the forefront of this epic battle here in Brussels. Underarm passing is on the money, but even when she has to step into it overhand, it's still good. So Van Arlen gives it straight back. Britt Bongartz on the side. Three great setters in this team. Overpass from Italy, and they're crumbling yet again here. Pietrini's pass. A free gift for Celeste Black, who buries it away. That face tells us everything. Service, Lohus again. Pietrini the target, Antropova stays high. But yet again, they're in the right position. The game plan is on point from Kozlovski and his staff at this moment in time. But the Italians who are finding it very difficult to put the ball away, find a solution eventually. Antropova, off the inside hand of Dowder. Short serve, Plack just stabs an arm at it. Free ball for Silla, through the center. Nika Dowder, who's been almost unstoppable this evening. Three up in the block on Silla, the set's tight, blocks in the game. Again, Bayerns gets across this time. Now she has to move out to help on the right side. Point goes Italy's way. This is a tussle. Kozlowski cheering everything he's seeing at the moment, and why not? The effort and the energy is certainly there. Silla did a good job the first time with three up against her, then Another great decision to go off the hands of the blocker. Celeste Plack. Straight down from Silla. And now Miriam Silla is back on the front court. Italy look like they mean business once again. Oh, it's come down the side of the Italians. My mistake. Silla even needed a second look at that in the arena here. Again, float serving, they're not trying to do too much here. Netherlands, they just keep asking questions of the Italians. Silla with the set. Bit of backwards uh, volleyball, but it's a great set, wide enough for Antropova to get her hand on it. Indy Bynes getting across, but as we've said before, Indy Bynes is at 192. Antropova is almost 10 centimeters taller than Indy Bynes. So when the ball is in good stead, she's going to be able to uh, go off the hands. Bynes gets one back with a little bit of speed and width, getting through the blockers this time. Danesi serving right down the center towards uh, Jasper. Trying to duck into the Angle, Miriam Silla. Oro with speed to Silla. Certainly up for this challenge, the Italian captain, but 
can't do it all alone. There's been a touch given off the block, and Mazanti says, okay, we're definitely going uh, to see this one again. We have a full house now here in Brussels. It's something else. Mazanti and Italy, who looked comfortable in this set. But the Netherlands went on that eight or nine point run. And all of a sudden, it's very difficult work for them. No block touch this time. That one's gonna be reviewed and the decision is going to be reversed Italy's way. Antropova. 15 aces coming into this game for Antropova. Second only to Isabel Harkin. Melissa Vargas, who's got the fastest serve of the competition as well. Are we challenging a challenge or are we having a timeout? I think. Regardless, it's gone very quiet here. Well, they're looking for a net touch. They must have seen something the Netherlands bench to want to challenge. Was there a net touch on the way down? No net fault. Hang on a minute. Kozlowski is saying that they've got the wrong action here. Emotions are running very high as uh, Laura Teinkmer is running in front of me and getting told to uh, move away. Now she's pretending that she's having her shirt pulled back to stop her getting more involved. Second referee's over here as well. A few smiles and a few they get, laughs. They get the wrong footage. No, they get the wrong footage. They are entitled to the net, but it's, a, it's not this one. After. After. Not this one. So now Silla's asking the question of Logic. why do we not just carry on here? And it is because it's the wrong action that's been shown. Dutch fans using their voices now. Team will need them to close this set out. They're doing a lot of great work here. And then the Italian fans let their voices be heard as well. It's sensational here. This evening it'll be full of Turkish fans. Right, was there a net fault in the block? Oh, it's so close. But no net fault, unsuccessful. Antropova went over and said no touch, but also there was no they're net infringement. They're not able to send him much again, but either. there was no block touch. I can see it here, but they cannot send. No, yeah, there was no net fault. Sorry. Yes, okay, thank you. It's called a little bit. Well, after a small delay, it's time to get underway once more. Italy chasing four down in this race to 25. Antropova does a fantastic job of uh, making sure that first ball after a long break goes in. Silla with three up. Oh, Miriam Silla. That's an outrageous swing. She had absolutely no right to put this one away. Sets from behind her. Way out of rhythm, Bosch into the back corner. Time out now from the Netherlands who are, you can see Mazanti throws his hands in the air. He knows exactly what's happening because Lovsky's trying to slow this game down as much as possible. The 
Netherlands looking to regain a little bit of control as we have a look at Juliet Lowe, who's uh, Marina Lubian there, comparison. Lubian, 57% efficiency, one block apiece. Silla still on the front court. That's going to help. Antropova will be on the 10. Another big serve as they keep trying to slow down Antropova's service. And she's really good at cooking from behind the baseline. Now it's a substitute coming in. Dijkma and Dambrink, the next ploy to try and stop this onslaught from Ekaterina Antropova. Dijkma, who played a starring role in the previous set, at a similar time under pressure, brought some stability and some calmness. She needs to do it again. Antropova, another big serve. The pass has gone. Dijkma into the advertising boards. And Italy are coming back because of Ekaterina Antropova's weapon of a serve. Another change as Jasper comes in. Have both Jaspers on the court. Hester Jasper. Have a look at how much it means to the Italians. Antropova being sensational here, serving Italy back. Can they get back all square? Finally, there's a missed serve. Kozlowski, you couldn't quite see him on your screen to the right-hand side, was over the moon with that Timmerman coming in to serve. There'll be a few changes I'd expect to see now. Dijkma still in. Dowderop comes straight back on for Hester Jasper, who came on and did her job. Almost went for it, didn't she? That's the Asper who plays for Dresdner. Or will play next year for Dresdner. Some booze here. Timmerman once again on to serve for the Netherlands. Big play on the right side. Libyan's been outstanding when she's got the ball, hardly missed. The pass can keep coming in. Libyan, who's uh, replaced Christina Kiri Keller from last year's, or two years ago. Sorry, the team that won in Belgrade. Agoni knows it's important. Always supporting from the side. It's a tight set. Second opportunity. Big play, more bodies on the floor from the Netherlands, but it's Italy. My word, they're showing some character here, the Italians. That eight or nine point swing against them earlier on in the set, but they're digging their heels in. Pietrini back on the front court and scoring. High play, Asper looking for the hands of Lubian. Taken, my word, that's a clutch swing at this point from Marit Jasper. Didn't have any angles open to her. Jasper just hammers one away off the hands. She has to be an expert at that, Jasper, if she wants to be as successful as she is at this level. Gets across there, and there's three up on the block, but it's Pietrini, two points in a row for the outsider. And in these big moments, Pietrini's been there all competition long. High ball, three up, stays high off the middle. Lubian serve, this is a big moment for Lubian. Oh, what a serve! It's a rocket! Marina Lubian has just provided an ace at a key time for the Italians. We know what she's capable of, but look at the speed, the dip in the swerve. 
straight through to seam. And Italy have turned this well and truly around. Antropova to start with. Now Lubian from behind the service line. Time out to try and upset the rhythm of Marina Lubian. There's another rocket serve. Dowderop does a wonderful job of getting a platform on the ball, but they're all out of sync and system here. It's Antropova, she's blocked out, Mary Jasper makes a monster block of epic proportion at a key, key time. You cannot believe it, Antropova, almost in a one-on-one -on -one situation, tries to go high as she has done before, but she gets blocked this time. Serve into the nets, brings up another set point for Italy. Tension here. It's on another level. Alessia Oro serves to position one. It's a great set from Dijkman. It's a difficult set to still use the middle when you're so crammed up to the right side. Everybody's expecting the ball to go to four. Denacy's holding her position. Dijkma does a superb job of flipping it back and leaving the one-on-one. -on -one. Plaque still off. Dalderop is on the front court. Dijkma certainly brings a presence in the block as well as Piatrini's up against three. And it's through the Dutch block, Pietrini. Certainly excelling under pressure here. By my count, a third kill in a row. <laughs> European champion, just won the Challenge Cup with Scandici, Antropova and Milinov in that team. Milinov, uh, a very good setter, Italian setter, not here at the moment is another one saved. What a swing that one is. Indy Bayern, sensational so far this evening. Can they continue hanging in there? They need to stop the Netherlands, they need a block, they need an ace, they need a defensive play to try and turn the tide. The side out from Italy will give them yet another side. Set point, Antropova, dug from Dijkma, Rezink comes in, Dowderop out of system, stays physical, and they have turned the tide, the Netherlands. They just don't go away. Dijkma with the defense, celebrates like she scored it herself, Dowderop, Under pressure, does a great job. Now, can they make another one to go 2-0 up? Set point, looking for a handling call here. They don't get the handling call, but they do make a block, the Netherlands. Set two, swung one way, then another, then back again. And then for a fourth time, the swing goes the way of the Netherlands. They lead 2-0 here, and they're one set away. Or are they? There's a challenge coming. One set away from the bronze, my word. Challenge though. Unsure what for, Kozlowski is uh, arguing here on the side. Netherlands are sure they've uh, won this one. It must be for a net touch, surely, with the block. 
There's smiles there from Dalderup. Kozlowski smiling. They're celebrating, really. Silla reached. Is there a net touch? There is no net touch. And it is the Netherlands. Kozlowski here on the side just lets out a massive yes. As they lead two sets to zero. Character showing from both teams, absolutely. But the way the Dutch made two breaks at the very end sealed the fate of the Italians. They go 2-0 down. And we go to a third set that now Italy have to win. The reigning Euro Volley champions are up against the ropes here because the Netherlands are playing aggressively and they are putting everything on the line here. Six blocks to one. My word, not many errors from either side in set two, but what a spectacle here. Well, let's have a look at the pass. 53% of the pass uh, in the middle, in the green zone. That means that Oro will have every option available to her. So the pass is uh, not too bad at all if you're Italy. Slightly better if you're the Netherlands. Coach, what a win to win that second set and get two sets ahead. How do you feel about the game so far? I mean, we came here today and we just want to leave our heart in the court and the girls are really fighting and trying to push as much as they can. And um, yeah, that we will try to go. And Italy is a really, really good team. Uh, has amazing players and the game starts still on 0-0. Good luck. Well, I uh, would really wonder how his heart rate is. He seems so calm, Kozlowski. But at the same time, he says, it's 0-0, we start again. And, uh, certainly, the big yelp of yes at the end of that set shows how much it means to him. Have they caught Italy on a bad day? Who knows? We, uh, we wait to hear from coaching staff of the Italians. Coach, you're 2-0 behind. What changes will need to be made to get back into the game? Um, we have to be more precise in the situation uh, of the point, and um, we have uh, we create uh, uh, many chances to score points, but we, we aren't able to do it. So this is important in this sense. Thank you. Good luck. Here we go, set three on the way here from uh, Brussels. As uh, we wait to see if there's a starting spot for Agonu, who's just warming up on the right-hand side of your screen. The Palais who's a great host of this final round of Euro Volley. Surely, fourth for Italy would be a major disappointment after not dropping a set until the semi-final round. Yes, it was a very difficult run for them. Turkey in the semi-final were on great form, but they also had that lead, didn't they? 
it felt like they were comfortable at 2-1 up with a clear lead in the fourth. But then, just like that, from nowhere, Melissa Vargas and co came to the party and delivered a fantastic comeback for the Dutchies, uh, Van Allen, Jasper, Lohus, Dauderop, Bayerns, Plaque, and they sync starts. Again, it's the same six. We can now start to uh, predict that Dijkema will come off the bench and for Italy. But Zanti stays with Antropova on the right side. A big, big call this evening again, but that's been his uh, philosophy throughout. Obviously, dropping Monica Di Gennaro and Christina Kiri Keller from the squad as well. Lots of talking points for this Italian side. Ficino leaves for the time being. Nika Dowder up the outside spiker. Alina Pietrini, 11 points apiece. Not much in it, but Dowderop has been a thorn in the side of the Italians thus far. Lubin, that's another ripper of a surf to get us underway here in set number three. Dutchies in orange on the left-hand side. Italians in blue on the right, Pietrini. Lubin's serve is really one of the toughest in the world on the European Volleyball Show yesterday. Edda Erdem was the first one to uh, point it out. Have you seen her serve? Lubin also a guest on the show. Sarah Van Allen trying to find the middle from uh, an impossible situation. Oh, and Travopa has been uh, blocked down again. Antropova, sorry, it's uh, one where that ball's not quite in the right spot, where she starts to lose a little bit of height. And Jasper's got another one on her. Service on Tassila. Tight, trying to go on uh, two is Oro, then splits onto the outside. Great job from Pietrini, knows that she's tight there, can't lift it, so she just turns off the hands. You have to say that's a, a great swing. Had 12 points against Spain. Best performance was in the semi final. Quickly got past the uh, 13 points and really did hold things together at times. And Arden to the middle this time. Though he just brushes one away. Again, keeping the ball out the middle is so key here. Good footwork around Lohus and then fizzed away from Anna Danese. Silla, perfect pass from Silla. Pietrini again goes away from the body off of the block of uh, Celeste Plack. Have Italy got it in them? to come all the way back from 2-0 down here. They're all going to be feeling the pressure, the expectation and the responsibility here. Question was, could they bounce back after, oh, Pietrini now. No double touch given. I think uh, the Dutchies are gonna erupt here. Platt goes off the hands, Kozlowski making eyes at the referee. Almost to say seriously. We don't get another look at it. We see uh, Van Allen fine plaque and then she goes off the hands of Silla. Zanti takes one to the chin. Silla's got a little bit to say about this as well. Service high on Pietrini. Danese. 
free ball for the Italians. Just short on Antropova. It's a smart free ball trying to get her out of the offense. It certainly works as it goes back to her. And she doesn't have any options. Again, chip short from the Netherlands onto the middle. But this time, Antropova has a bit more rhythm, a few more options, and she can put the ball away. Good speed. Bynes is uh, just giving Van Allen a message to say, I just need that a little bit higher. 5-3 Italy. Certainly seem to have uh, lifted that level here in the third. Denise, who you think uh, has been such a strong player through the years in the middle of all of the, the Italian success under Mazzanti as well. Certainly flourished underneath uh, Mazzanti's guidance at international level. Now at Navarra, Danesi from, uh, well, play for Maloka, Amoko and Milano. That ball's out the back from uh, Katarina Antropova. Just seeing if uh, that ball's in the right spot. Looks like a good set, maybe a little bit inside, but Antropova certainly gets it in the hitting window, looks for the hands, but misses the hands and goes out the back. Good break for Silla. Racing is perfect there. Two in a row from Racing. Now on the counter. Cover. And this has been the Dutch performance fighting for every point everywhere. And now they've earned an opportunity. And they take their opportunity. Agoni turns to the crowd and slaps her hands together on the side. Racing with two digs. Eventually, they earn their opportunity because they dig very, very deep this Dutch side. And they earned their chance. And then they took it. Backed up with another ace. And Italy at the moment seem to play some good volleyball and then just let it slide. It's Silla this time who gets caught popping up in the pass. And it, it's a game of inches, but at the same time, painful for Silla at the moment. Timeout probably called earlier than Davide Mazzanti would have wanted to have called it. The Turkey fans are just coming into the arena as well now. It's going to be uh, a fantastic final a little bit later on, but 64% for Indy Bynes and Anna Danesi, 36. Serves floated into a good zone. Oro, okay, that's uh, regulation. Perfect volleyball pass just hangs up into the setter's hands. Quick delivery of the set through the center. Lubian. When they brought her into the game, she's been uh, a tough nut to crack. Big moments as uh, Ekaterina gets another one underway, uh, Antropova. And there's an error, that's one. And then you think that Lubian comes up next. So there's a couple of uh, big rotations coming for Italy with service pressure that they'll hope certainly don't make errors and can enforce a little bit of pressure on the opposition looking for the hands but antropova certainly bought her uh, a game in the last two sets from the service lines another one racing what a great pass that is fantastic side out play from the netherlands because it's an absolute ripper from Antropova, but again, Racing is there. Low to the left-hand side, it's not an easy pass from Racing, but it's turned in. 
And then they can run their offense. Sarah Van Arlen needed to get that ball higher to the middles, and she certainly did that this time. So that embarking the orders. Libyan this time. Oh, just stick a hand out at it. Indy Bynes, you might get lucky. Oro has a little look for the middle. Goes to Silla. They are not letting anything hit the floor here, the Netherlands. Italy through Oro on the pipe. Dalderop, another big rally in this bronze game. And all of those 50-50 plays, well, there's one that goes the way of Italy. Netherlands are sure there's a touch. I think we have a challenge. We're going to see right now. Oh, there's a big touch off of Oro. And everybody can see it in the arena. The television replay. As uh, Italy have already set up in their service reception pattern. Good swing from Jasper. the middle looking for their first bronze medal since 1985 the Netherlands having lost both bronze medal matches 2003 and then against Turkey in Belgrade two years ago Jasper being outstanding on the outside that's a brilliant dick Pietrini just holds her ground. Oh, and then there's a block from Pietrini as well. Makes a defensive play and then makes one in the block as... Dig was outstanding to get the arms on the ball, has to move the torso and then in turn, gets herself up the second time, drops her hands inside, Lohus hammers straight into them. just at 31% this evening. Probably going to want a few more than that. Plaque inside, Antropova. There's a net touch. I'm sure there's just a few uh, words being exchanged from the Italians at the moment. Antropova does a good job holding the defense, but there's a net touch. Against Pietrini. There you go. Well done, second referee. Passes off from Silla this time. Has to go to the outside of Pietrini. Three up. Chance to just recycle and hammer again through Plaque. Two big plays for Black. Black. she's uh, managed to go after Antropova twice in a row. It's really smart offensively from Celeste Plaque because she knows that Antropova's sat at position one and she's quite happy just to stay high and hard at her to get situations like this one in return. Good hands, fantastic stuff. Now, 202 playing defense, uh, slightly difficult. Antropov is a great defender, but Black is back in the action again. This is unbelievable because Italy have a spell of good play and then they just go missing. So that's Plaque is coming into her own here. Two great bits of offensive play. Let's see how uh, Zanti deals with this. Okay, Italy, you are running out of chances here. Jasper, outstanding, 13 points. And then compare Jasper and Silla. Jasper's had by far the better game here. 
the Dutchies have uh, come out and certainly applied themselves. You have to uh, really respect the performance so far of the libero as well. Made so many important passes and then the defense uh, from Ray Singh has uh, been exceptional too. This time Lubian, every time she runs that reverse trying to uh, split the offense, one on the right, one on the left as Antropova's on the back. Danese and Italy start their comeback again. The issue is, can they stay consistent enough to beat this Netherlands side? Because so far, they've put in an incredible performance. Agonu supporting everything on the side. Do we get to see her again in this European Championships is the question. You'd think so. You wouldn't think that we would have a European Championship match where uh, Italy losing Agonu isn't on the court. Good hand, Silla. Rocking back, but getting the platform on that one delightfully well. Oh, what a swing. Antropova just misses out, but it would have been a ridiculous play from uh, the young opposite. Silla on the move, but does a good enough job to keep the ball alive. But it's another error from Italy. Still no. Agoni, 13 11 the score. Out of system, Pietrini. Hands on the hips of uh, Mazzanti. Really not happy to the middle. Silla is there this time. They're fighting the Italians. Pietrini gets her way through. Big, big arm from Pietrini. Fast, turns it. Danesi working so hard in the middle to try and keep Lohus with her. Lohus goes, but she's just tore off the inside hand. Just one between them. Still a lot of work left for the Netherlands to get over the line here. Down or up. Has hardly missed a swing all game long. But Antropova's got one in the block. And then goes high out to Dowderop. It's very difficult, these situations, with uh, Danesi Antropova perfectly formed. Italy keep fighting. Their fans do too. Some words uh, from Koslovsky to uh, the two setters. Interested as always to hear what was said then. Into the angle. And we saw a timeout like this in the previous set, didn't we? Just managed to stop the onslaught. And the Netherlands have done a very good job of that. Post timeout, coming out, switched on. You have to say, uh, Italy haven't quite been at full throttle at all throughout this game as Pietrini dug. But they've played a very, very spirited side in the Netherlands. Jasper's there once more, just two defences at six, one on the angle, one sat in between the block, goes back out to Dadarop, trying to force her way through. Good self-cover, all oh, A big arm of it from uh, Bayern's had the opportunity. But goes out the back.
Penale. And it's uh, Celeste Plack once more that just stays high, fast with the arm. She's really turning into this go-to player. Perfect to have on one wing. When Dowderop's on the other, Silla still uh, can't quite settle at the moment. Still some nervous moments for the Netherlands. They still know that they uh, have a big, big job to do to win this. 3-0. Oh, they're looking for a touch. They get the touch. There's no complaints. Antropova, two-point lead, and they edge closer and closer. But it's still not a dead cert. As Agonu comes back in, Antropova out, and you can hear the crowd making a lot of noise for Ogonu, jumping up and down. Andropova, it's a straight replacement now, so you feel that this is how it's going to end for Italy, with Ogonu on the court, win or lose. But it's a, it's a very, very late throw of the dice. Passes off the net, Parakiali is uh, in, but that one's gone astray, with uh, Silla hitting the ball into the net. It's a three-point game. Now for the Netherlands. Celeste Plack. Two very good bits of work on the front court. Serving incredible. Agonu goes full fire with that one, but she's stopped. Silla with the tip. Very good discipline off the ball from Nika Dowderop. Italy, they refuse to give in here. Van Arlen, one on one on the outside against her former teammate, the left hand of Silla, out of play. This is sensational stuff from the Netherlands, it really is. The block on Agonu earlier, and then that play over the left shoulder, the cross line from Dowderop. It's a situation that A, Kozlowski would love, or he's not so happy about, but at the same time. Oh, maybe there's a problem. Or here, the ice packs out. Agonu and Dowderop knowing each other so well from playing the whole season together with the, the Kiv Bank Giovanni Guidetti, as his Serbia side go up against his former side, Turkey in the final, oh, that one's gonna hurt. Yeah, that's, uh, don't wanna bang your head straight into an LED board. Four point game, this run from Celeste Plack has been instrumental here. Going deep on Silla. Silla does a fine job of getting that ball to two and a half. Agonu gets one on the board. Okay. We've seen Agonu plenty of times. Win games for Italy. This is a big moment for it to step to the forefront of this one and try and bring Italy back into this bronze medal match. Denesi with the serve. Dowderop, big crush, Danese is there. Big point this for Italy, no. Silla only finds the Dutch block. Hasn't quite been the evening that Silla would have wanted. She's trying so desperately hard. Out of system plays always going her way. Bayerns is there again, had a fabulous game here. Agonu. She's going to get set a lot of the ball. That's a fantastic grip from Paola Agonu. Whatever's uh, going on with Italy at the moment, within their camp, they will all be cheering for Italy and Paola Agonu as she's back to serve. Serve out the back, that's a big one. 
And on days like today, if you're the Netherlands, every moment like that where Agonu goes back to serve and misses, psychologically you know that it's a very good chance it might just be your day. Have a look at Kirsten Kadip on the side with the rest of the bench living and breathing every single moment, even though they're not on the court. They're a very uh, together side at the moment, the Netherlands. Parakiali leaves us again. Sillers to serve Pietrini. Silla serving that float serve into the centre. Asper blocked out, but once again, the Dutch have covered so many balls. My word, Ficino, outrageous. Free ball. This is a huge point. Italy really need to win this one, but no through the pipe this time. We've hardly seen a pipe attack all evening. And they know how crucial that one is. The Netherlands, it's a four point game. Silla going 110%. But it's Dowder up through the pipe with no block. Takes the Netherlands closer. So Van Arlen, good serve. The float serves are certainly causing some issues. Agonu so high. Takes off. Good luck, Jasper, with that one. Lubin. And it's another moment, isn't it? You have a Gonu serve out the back, then Lubian serve out the back. Italy's two best servers, both making service errors at this moment. Jasper back in. Pietrini passes off the net slightly. Good, high, deep swing. Trusina, Alice Glady come in and she was uh, blocked out twice in a row. So it's down to Pietrini and Sillet. The two outsides that were victorious two years ago to do the damage here. One on one again. Dowder up over the left shoulder. And now surely the bronze medal goes the way of the Netherlands. You can't see any other ending to this unless Italy can dig so deep, Dowderop has been absolutely tremendous. But so have the whole squad. Pietrini passing on the money, Danesi. Absolute money when she can get into the game as well. Pietrini needing something. Going back to serve, it was a great pass, so low to that right hand side. The front court receiver would have found it difficult to hit that one, but the pass was so good they could run the middle. Side out for set point, Celeste Plack. Everybody, every single player from the Netherlands has been so influential this evening. Outstanding. Well, match point, bronze medal point for the Netherlands to upset the Italians, the reigning champions. Agonu high off the hands, but the Dutch all evening have played superb defense. And there you have it. There you have it. The Netherlands have upset the reigning champions to win the bronze medal here at Eurovolley 20. 23 and the whole squad erupts together in celebration for a fantastic achievement it's heartbreak for italy 
They have to settle for fourth place. With Paola Ragoni finishing on the court, having only started one game, there's going to be so many questions asked after this game, I am sure. But the Netherlands have just put in a superb performance defensively. Absolutely outstanding in the block. Faultless and from the service line as well. You can't remember too many errors this evening as they win their first bronze medal since 1985 after falling short two years ago and settling for fourth they go one step further and they take the bronze medal here in brussels Laura Dijkma, the captain, charging towards Celeste Plack, who put that final ball away. But there's a team full of heroes out there this evening. Dijkma being one of them in the first set, coming off the bench. Dowderop, absolutely. after being upset by Turkey 12 blocks to six it was a team performance as we have a look at the service placement Agon who's already gone back to the changing room by the way for with birth sharing that one as uh, placement a lot from the Italians to the middle they didn't quite get their serve going. The Netherlands uh, a lot more to that left side going after front court receiver for periods. Miriam Silla certainly one of those as Casino not part of the team two years ago. Had a great tournament. Lubian had a great tournament, but they have fallen short by uh, Italy standards with a fourth place finish. But not the Netherlands. They lost the bronze medal match on both occasions they played previously 2003 to Germany and 2021 to Turkey. Now they are on the podium with a superb display. An absolute team game. They were everywhere together this evening. And that spirit, that togetherness got them through. Well, 10 points for Lumin, 18 for Pietrini, but scoring at 46%, so that went up. Some big evenings, Indy Bynes. Uh, Laura, but you've Lara just Dijkma won the bronze medal. Us. What's going through your head right now? I'm just incredibly proud of the team, and uh, I knew that we had a great group of youngsters, and. Uh, new, new stuff, and that is that we end up with a bronze medal. A young team. Destined for greatness, I am sure. The Netherlands take the bronze medal. Their first bronze medal since 1985. It wasn't to be Agonu starting on the bench again. Racing was nothing short of sensational. And a word for Felix Kozlowski doing a wonderful job at the helm of the Dutch program. <laughs> Celeste Plack with 11 points this evening and some key moments. Mazanti will be disappointed. 
The Dutch will be delighted, the bronze medalists. Well, there you have it. The finals coming up a little bit later on. Turkey up against Serbia. As that's all we've got time for, for the time being. A fantastic evening has started. The gold medal coming up next. But it's the Dutch that take the bronze. Italy without Agonu for large proportions of this competition have to settle for fourth. Dutch delight in Brussels. We'll leave you with some shots of what was an entertaining game and we'll be back very, very soon with the women's final. <laughs>